Welcome back to Into the Odd. Uh, we've escaped from a very rough situation somewhere up there where uh, people are trying to murder us and mostly succeeding. And uh, made our way into the sewers. Already fallen quite a long way down into the sewers and now we're going deeper, I think. We do have a blackjack, so we're not entirely defenseless anymore and that's grateful, but, uh, well found anyone to knock out yet either. So I'm just about to attempt this drop and hope it doesn't kill me too badly. Alright, I thought I thought it was slightly further than that, but uh, I guess it's okay. Can I make that drop or can't see a thing down here. Let's try it. Yeah okay. Oh, I landed on. Wow, it is so dark. Uh, I can't tell if it's safe to go straight down. It doesn't really look it, but uh, getting to that walkway would be nice. It's just... <laughs> right. Well, it feels like it's going to collapse any second. But, uh, Nothing here. Well, we might not be completely dead then. Yeah, I don't want to fall down there. It looks like another pit of death. This is this another dead end? Oh. Five one eight eight. Does that help me at all? I don't know. I didn't see any Oh, this door. Oh hello. Rope arrows! Uh, oh, mine. Okay. But uh, this doesn't help me much. By the way, it looks if you use that as a, what seems to be a lantern. Although it reminds me more of the uh, whale oil jars from Dishonored. Glowing like that. Alright, well, okay. I missed that door, but it doesn't help me. It gives me tools, but... Uh, unless... Unless the rope arrow is, is of use. Maybe I need to go back up. And get back up. This can't mantle because there's not enough height. <laughs> Even with new mantle, this would be absolutely impossible without it. But I can't kind of, I can't quite get on far enough to to crouch or to uncrouch. Yeah. Is there? Oh, there is a wooden beam there. All right. I guess. I guess we do go up. I mean, I do. I like the I like the concept here, like the construction of this climbing and ledges and stuff. I don't like how fiddly they are. Even things like I can't get up that step because it's too far. All right, so let's save in case I break a rib arrow. Because that's not very good. How far is it coming? Oh, quite far. Quite good. Alrighty. Do I want to be on those beams or do I want to keep going higher? <laughs> it's 
leave that for just a minute. Oh, I think I recognize this place. I think this is, I say there's beams, it is this thing here. Yeah, we've, I think we've been here before, on the other side of that door. Is there anything of worth here? No. Maybe, maybe we've been here? Oh, right, this is where we came in, yes, all right. Well, they've finished eating and whatever it was and gone. I don't think there's anything out there, right? No, but now we've got rope arrows, we can probably... Oof. Save in case I fall in. Pressure gauge, but there's a uh, lever, but I can't open it. Well, I still don't have lockpicks. So I think I need lockpicks to get out there. Wait, 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 wait. What was it? objective? Snatch holes, lockpicks to replace ones you lost. His hideout is said to be among the underground aqueducts. fellow we saw who was dead or is he the fellow through here or there really is nothing here right oh I'm complaining about it being dark and I've got like a million flares all right let's let's use the flares you know there props to the mission author for deciding that uh, they wanted to make a mission where flares would be useful and then gave you lots of flares I didn't actually think of that Oh, this wasn't open before. Hello, Ratty. You right there? All right, let's drop in. Another flare. Oh, the other side of there, okay. Good, good, so I guess I don't need lockpicks. I'm not sure what changed to open that door, but okay, good. No, I don't need a bottle. All right, where now? Well, I can drop into the water, or I can use a rope arrow. Let's just drop. Whoa, okay, let's not drop too far. There's more chewy gears down there, this. Uh, these sewers seem to have lots of good ways to dispose of people. Aha, maybe this is... Jeez. No, you don't understand. We want those rat traps set so they don't kill the little rockets. That rare jester asked for unique rats, we give him unique rats. Don't matter if rats aren't that unique, he pays a pretty penny for it and everyone happy. But not everyone must be in the know, especially that task of the juffler. Now just shut your freaking gob for once and do what I tell you to do. Rat traps, huh? Oh, is that what that rat is squeaking about that back there? Yeah, I can maybe climb up and... Well, I'll save here in case I can't get back up easily. <laughs> Ow, in case I kill myself falling down. Let me get up there. <laughs> And then up here. And then... Jump over there. Oh, the rat was up there, right? And how did you get up there? By... Coming around here. And then up here.
Are you stuck in a rat trap? No, you just you're stuck. Okay. I can't grab you or anything. Fair enough. Okay. Can we where can we go next? I guess I probably want to get through that. Oh. Skull and crossbones, pirate flag on the wall. That must be Maybe that's the hideout I'm looking for with uh, someone with lockpicks. Oh, there's a lock. Here's a lock of gates. Oh, that doesn't help me. Two underground aqueducts. Yep, I see. Oh, it doesn't open. Maybe if I knock, someone will come and open it for me. Hmm. I don't want to jump down there. Yeah, I can just just yet. I mean, that kind of looks like a key, but it's not. It's a tiny, tiny hammer. <laughs> I suppose, it's, but I guess it's meant to be part of the uh, rat trap there. At least at some point. So, where to now? Like, I still don't have lockpicks. I still haven't found lockpicks. I don't know if I've got anywhere else I can go. Alright, let's try and do this a little more carefully, see if we can get on the ladder. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could try see if is there any way down here. What happens if I throw a uh, flare down there? Oh, it just goes out when it hits the water. So, is there a way down there? Oh, I see it's not. Yikes. Very yikes. Ah! Oh, what was that? Hmm. Someone killed me immediately, but, uh... That does seem to be... Possibly where I need to go next? Instant death everywhere. Oh, I see. Have to be out from underneath there. Ah! Right, there's a uh, a moving door that kills me that is badly set up. So it kills me when it really shouldn't be killing me. Again. No. Oh, this is frustrating. Ouch. I really, really don't like bad rooms. Bad room brushes underwater, they make a horrible cracking noise. that was somehow floating in the water there, but that's a mangled key, it might open the door. And I'm really going to need that uh, health potion, aren't I? Oh, I used... no, I didn't. Alright. Well, I think... what's his name is... Uh... Okay, it's not for that. 
Oh, so here it goes. No? Uh. Hmm. Up there, maybe. There was another lockbox. <laughs> yep, I'm saves giving you a little jump because that's too fiddly. <laughs> so, this lockbox, maybe. Okay. How do I go up there? I mean, I suppose I can rip out right. <laughs> All right. Take that with me. We are making progress. We are making progress. See, there's a room that we saw through there. Okay. He does not open it, so we're gonna. <laughs> Craving have to run through here and climb the ladder. <laughs> no, alright, that's gonna lead me to death, isn't it? Probably. Red hot pipes, very, very red. Oof. This place is a death trap. Oh, this doesn't leave me deaf, okay. I was... kind of expecting it to be. Another notice. Attention! Be it warned that in case you have an accident, you must first seek the supervisor for scheduling a time to be evacuated to the sick house. Yeah, well, I'm sure a lot of accidents happen around here. It's not very... Safe kind this of looks place. like a dangerous area. <laughs> yeah, no, no shit. More red hot pipes and is that icicles, cold ones. Yeah, maybe I can climb across that. What's what's this way? Where's my flares? That door doesn't open. All right. Guess we're gonna try it. Oof. I'm gonna do all this Ouch. What have we got here? Can't see a thing. Where's my flares? Eh, yeah, I don't think I want to fall down there. Flares, I still can't see. All right. <laughs> can I turn it on? No. What is this place? What are those eyes? <laughs> Can I get out of here anyway? I know. All this door. Well, 
I can get down there. Which is maybe where I have to get to. Maybe I'm not trying to be stealthy just now. Hmm. It's not a door anyway. A lot of exploded barrels. I wonder, do they explode if I, if I throw a flare at them? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Don't think it does me any good, but, uh... Oh well, that was fun. I'm not sure if that hurt me or whether I just got hurt from the uh, hot pipes or something before, but... Uh... Oh, I've got some cheese. Where's my cheese? Drat, didn't heal me. And no more food. Alright, down here then. Down we go. Save. That's why you save. It's not sewers anymore, is it? Or is this the ancient aqueduct? It's water and weird faces. Oh, and a passage. Okay. Now, someone's trying to map these places, so maybe I can find a map, huh? Let's take some gold first. Deep down with my hand, I will hollow a deep grave in a forgotten black juicy snail frequented soil and lay me down for spent with that voluptuous toil snug in death's sleep as an octopus neath the wave i loathe tombs in columbaria i abominate wills and rather than sad tears from the world to implore i would rather ask of their crows with their vampiric bills to devour to their hearts content my carcass impure O oh, worms, earless, eyeless, wiggling black friend, to thee and once mortal one, rejoicing descends. O oh, blithe philosophers, offspring of black dung, come, march through me, or my wreckage spread, and tell if some curious torment still can be wrung for this soulless body that is dead midst the dead. Well, oops. I guess there was a... Uh... Somebody living down here writing goth poetry. Stone, stone hammer. What is this place? There's a wisp. There's a machine. It's locked towards this key, open it. No. back there in just a minute. I want to check out this underwater passage first. See what is to be seen down here. Oh, just uh, Just that. Oh, what arrow. Okay. Good, good. This is a very dramatic change of scene from uh, from down in the uh, sewers there. I really like that. I like that little uh, decorative stone tree thing above the uh, doorway. Very nice. It's just like we're still underground, surely. A 
Eiche. Alvin. Speak any bread in there? No. Wasting fuel there. There's none of this door there I can open. But I could hear what sounded like people behind it, so. I'm gonna scout it first. Try and get my bearings here. That does not look at all ominous, does it? Hello there, monkey man. Maybe it's not a trap. That's a very odd door. Yeah. Where does this go? What is this place? <laughs> Lots of doors everywhere. That's your death. Need more flares. Do I still have plenty? I still have plenty. All these doors are locked. someone there but they're not they're not even idling they're like frozen solid I think that makes them even creepier oh oh that door's locked as well well where do I go from here then up there maybe can I mantle this no there's no way up from here <laughs> I didn't seem to be able to mantle this. I mean, there's platforms and stuff. It does actually seem like it might be meant to be a way. We got it. jump. No, I can't mantle that. That's too high. Oh, it's a cart. I've got a rope arrow, of course, if there's any wood. Three of them still. Is there any wood? It's all very stone. It's all very, very stone. I can't even beat them down slowly, painfully with the blackjack because they're all made of metal. So. Wow, oh, somebody didn't even manage to hurt myself. Oh, there's a key. Well, I am blind. Old looking key. 
Hold on, I have to always try this door outside before I get back up. All these doors outside. Right, which which of these strange <laughs> doors will I open? Probably the worst one possible, right? Or none of them. Okay, that's that was not what I expected. I kind of thought that it would open a door. Um, interesting, interesting. All right, made it onto the ladder finally. There isn't another door I'm missing, is there? Chains. I mean, it's okay. There wasn't a door in here, that's just the oven. That's not a door. I mean, that's not locked, but maybe there's another door out here that I forgot about. Oh yes, there is. Ah, uh, okay. Alrighty. Well, that bodes well. Another red arrow, okay. What is this place? Prefabricated pre bits of building. Machinery. Right next to this very strange underground town. Hmm. Is that wood or metal? That looks like wood. I can maybe. Maybe get there with a rope arrow. Shouldn't be too hard to find a spot to climb out of this place. Yes, I can rope arrow up, up there. Oh, hello. I'm a frozen guard. Um, not sure I want to try opening that door. Is this place? Well, thankfully, I can't open this door. Up we go. <laughs> Do I need to come back? I don't know. some windows and bookshelves and like what oh this place makes any sense and I'm that looks like daylight you know I mean, it's on the wrong side of this fence, but uh, I like what I'm seeing. Somebody snoring, hell. Whoops. Not ordinary. Now what? Is 
interesting way to open these. Is this a dead end? What happens if I wake this guy up? He doesn't want to wake up. Oh, okay. I'm just blind. Just don't look up. Still very, very odd place. Get up the ramp. Thank you. Stone and carpet, okay. Oh, there's somebody there with a Zord. Wow, bright light, because it's the daylight, yeah. Oh, well, bow, rather. Seems to be back in relatively normal space, you know? Which is... Oh look, a broken television. Still showing static. Uh, a nice bricked up doorway. Is, but uh, there seems to be nothing at all in there. Before I run through there, Jordan. Hey! Hold it right there! Nope. You're in for it now. I've gone. No, oh, that was not very successful. I did see some apples, I think, over there or something. Where'd that tougher go? Oh, he's coming here. I'll turn you up soon enough. Turn around, mate. Turn around. Why do you? <gasps> oh! Ah! Whoops. Well, in a fight versus close range arrow and Garrett. <laughs> close range arrow one. Shadow of Doot and other magnum opuses by S.I. Perry. Alright, let's not go that way. Let's just take our spoils and eat them. Ah, some health back. Good, good. Alright. What is this place? Who lives here? I don't know. They seem human, so that's, uh, that's positive. Where do we go? Oh, I 
think he's the one who came out to the balcony there. Yeah. Traffic coming on your head. All right, let's reload that. That was not very well done. You turned around before I was long before I was ready, and uh, just about killed us. There's Mr. Traffic coming. So very cleverly done, Garrett. Very cleverly done. Your next demand? Did I fight you? Damn. Where'd he go? It's alright if I do it my way. I'll turn you up soon enough. I'll fight you alright, but uh, I'll I'll do it my way. Oh, you'll do it your way? Okay. Alright. <sighs> so there's at least two archers wandering around there. Right in front of me. What do you expect? I'm not going to complain too loudly. Just drop in this corner here. Right, I'm definitely in a cleaning up mood because all the Zymes have died in this mission earlier. It's not left me in mood to even try ghosting this and honestly I think I'd have I'd need extreme patience or extreme luck to successfully ghost it without knowing the place well beforehand So I'm not gonna even try gonna burst the ghosting, just just clean. Clean. Knock everyone out. Who made that noise? Hmm, I'm starting to see things. I'd better get some Some rest. It's a good long rest. You don't have any money on you, do you? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I don't know whose place this is that we've broken into, but uh, they will all wake up in a pile with uh, a headache in the morning. Okay, well, we still haven't found the lockpicks, and I don't know, are we in the aqueducts? Did we go through the aqueducts? Do I know where I am? I don't think that's relevant. 
I have no idea where I am. Not at least until we get out of here. Perhaps a good place to make a uh, hard save. To Brain Child, rewritten and enhanced by S. Perry. Another flare, great. I don't suppose any either of the keys that I have are likely to work on that door, so I will need block picks to get through there. Wait, what? Oh, moss arrows. Let's click. Why is there suddenly sewer aesthetic in the middle of a, man a mansion? I guess that's why there's a... could go down there, but I don't know why I'd not just walk down there. It's a very strange building. I like the little uh, dodecahedrons on top of the... Uh, Pillar there, that's nice. Yep, yeah, valuables. Wow, we have so little loot. 140. Got everything out here. Well, we'll need lockpicks to get that loot. Gateway underwater there too. Huh. Oh, hello. You're not. You're not creepy at all. You know that. You're not. You're not scaring me. How do you like a blackjack to the eye? I forgot up there. Maybe I can't. There's something on there for sure. I don't see any wood. Unless there's cross beams of wood. Oh, unless the entire roof is grassy, in which case. Yeah. <laughs> Rope arrow anyway, it will work. Oops. This is... Oh, hello. Slow fall potion and... Valuables. Alright. Oh, hang on. How am I going to get down from here? I think... I should be able to drop down, right? Yeah. <laughs> one entrance lever, one exit lever, okay. What's in that grotto there? Crew man in a cage. Broken chest that's empty. Oh dear, I'm gonna die down here. I'm gonna drown. Uh, my ears already almost run out. Gosh, this place is strange. I don't have any health to spare. I'm not to get more health or a breath potion or 
I really pressing need to go down there. Well, let's try it. Let's do it quickly. Down to the end to see what there is. Quickly, he says, as he gets stuck on the chest. Ah, an air pocket. Alright. That'll do. <gasps> what? Back in the sewers now? Well, I can't get through there. Hairbrush. What is this place? Uh, they're making very good use of the 16-bit uh, lighting too. Sunken rowboat. All right. I'm beginning to get the feeling that this is not your ordinary mansion. Something about it gives me that vibe. Uh, another stairway. There's at least three stairs down then. Oh, there's still someone around here. City Tribune, 30th of the 3rd, 836. Chaos on the Abacus General's offices. Insisting that the proud constables of the City Watch did everything they could to ensure the protection of the Baron's administrators, Sir Truett dismissed wild concerns and rumours over the chaos that ravaged the Abacus General's office after a pride of cave lions claimed the record rooms as their territory. A storm was brewed in a teaspoon. While the shambolism itself is as, as impressive as it is preposterous, our only loss is inconsequential as it was only a room made to store old documents on suspicions of concealment of income, said the sheriff, explaining that the situation was completely under his control and will continue to be, so long as raw red meat shall be thrown into the rooms every day to ensure the pride shall not range further into the palace in their primal search of food. The cave lions may have escaped from a private zoo for all I know. Nonetheless, de jure lex nobilis, I am forbidden to meddle with the private affairs of the nobility. As for those whose discontentment knows no boundaries and might be tempted to cry wolf, let this humble captain remembrate the citizen that the skull's bridle awaits those whose tongues that talk too idle. <clears throat> let this humble captain also take some lessons in uh, grammatical rhetoric. Later that day, the city council announced that in the absence of our most exalted baron, a new abacus general shall be selected by a clerotarian to replace Lord Brimworth, who was devoured by cave lions. An extraordinary and ill-fated death. An extraordinary occurrence has been brought to light at the inquest of a squire in Dayport. On the last morn's day in Lady Louisa's boudoir, where the lady herself was teaching young ladies the feminine crafts of embroidery, a mouse suddenly made its appearance on a chess table and caused such an awesome commotion among the noblewomen that the lady's stoical guardsmen were alarmed by the noises and, thinking the lives of their mistresses were in danger, rang the gongs before breaking the doors to the boudoir. The third intruder's frenzied havoc was quickly put to stop as it was seized by Sir Birdo, the lady's champion himself. But the rat slipped out of his hand and running up his sleeve came out between his waistcoat and the shirt at the neck, and as the stout man was agape from this surprise resistance, and as the resident was most surely on the hunt for a place to hide itself, finished its frantic climb inside the man's mouth, then his throat. Frightened by its new fleshy and dark prison, the rat quickly began to tear and bite inside the man's throat while the unfortunate fellow agonised and tried to dislodge the rodent from in his inside by punching himself in his neck several times before a horrible death. Several witnesses to the accident revealed that the Malbeast was surely a pawn of a warlock, or from the trickster himself, as its tiny eyes closed with a tense, godless calm. And a later autopsy done by the lady's physicians revealed that the rat's cataverum was nowhere to be found, as if 
the Rodentia simply vanished away. As Sir Berto was supposed to joust on the next locksmith's day with Arthur de Payon, Lady Blexham's champion, for the honour of their respective mistresses, Lady Blexham commented that while she mourned Lady Louisa's loss and sent her utmost sympathy, she hopes that a replacement shall be found quickly as dishonour can only be washed in blood. Ah, good. Lots of good news there. Flash bomb, nice. The courier. Is there anything else here behind the, beside the candle? No. Private. Hmm. Like any of this place is public. Right, there's, there are other staircases up above, and I feel like I feel like they go somewhere. Not didn't go quite as far down as this one, so I'm going to go to them briefly. They might connect up. I don't know. For all I know, they do. I, mean, I, I like the twisting architecture inside here. It's still all very, very tight and lots of mixed floors and lots of tile floors. I, I hate tile floors, but uh, it does, it does feel very interesting. footsteps there. Not mine. <laughs> A nice sculpture. Oh, hello. Well, that's just where I was, alright. Where does that go? We'll have to come back there. Goblin Den and other unfinished epics by S. Perry. Yay! Health. Oh, hello. I might use my one water arrow then. Oops. Although I could probably just go there by walking, right? Probably a waste. Whatever. This place is a maze. Hello. There's a guard and a lady in the kitchen talking. They have now frozen as well. should have found lockpicks before getting to this place somehow. Oh, hello. I didn't expect that. I didn't really see anything. I just kind of frobbed. Oh, okay. We're down underneath there. this room even meant to be? As you sit there watching this tiny little cramped garden playing the harp, these rich people have strange habits. Well, maybe I do need to go through here. Or did I finish exploring that room? Did I go through there? Yeah, I came through here. A 
been there. Those doors don't open. There's definitely footsteps. Maybe down there? So we were up there before and looking out. Okay. Yeah, this is the other side of the fireplace. So the steps are not too far away, so I'm going to try and walk quietly here. And fail. Hmm, creepy music. No thanks. No, off. Oh, it just restarts, okay. So I could drop down there. Before I do that, there was another set of steps, I think, over here. Yeah. Well, not steps down, but a room. Nice window seats. Ah, oh, well. Where's the toilet? Nice. Bucket underneath a uh, seat with a hole. Very practical. Much more so than your usual hole and trench. Uh, Alright then. Can I get down? No, let's just get a long way. So, like, my next objective is to find lockpicks, right? <laughs> and then get to one of my hideouts. So, this is all an incredible kind of diversion. Before I drop down, I think this is a pretty good place to take a break, get myself another cup of tea. So, uh, I will see you back here in a few minutes for the next episode. <laughs>